What is up, guys? Sam Dog, the infamous 253, coming at you guys with Dallas Stewart with the post game video. Game just wrapped up a few minutes ago, and Seahawks squeak out the win 28 to 21. Granted, Trey Lance was getting it going in the second half, and I know he's just a rookie. He had some had some little flaws, but he got it going. He had I know he had that nice little touchdown to Debo, which we've totally blown our coverage on then. Yeah, the heat that, was heat was, that was unacceptable. Yeah, heat was really getting at the Seahawks at the end with some of the guys on the ground like Dunlap and Daryl Taylor. So I hope those guys are all right. But just remember, I know we we're back to two and two now, but just remember, it's only one game. It's gonna take more than that. To really get back in it. Granted, we know the Cardinals just beat the Rams, and we know the Rams are going to be coming in pissed on a short week after that, after they blew that game to Arizona. So it's just one game. Just remember, it's just one game. There's still a lot more we got to fix, but thank God we didn't have to see freaking Trey Flowers' ass on the field today. Yeah. yeah. Thank God we avoided our first three game losing streak yep. since uh, 2011. And then Russell Wilson uh, got to 100 wins in his career. Yeah. Something. I think he either tied a record of Peyton Manning's or broke a Peyton Manning record in first 10 seasons. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. I mean, but still, the first half, we got off to that really slow start. I mean, we yeah, allowed like... That first quarter. Yeah, did we... How many sacks did we give up in that first quarter? I think like maybe two or three. I think we gave up four sacks in the first half. We gave up that opening drive touchdown. It looked like it was going to be a long day. Yeah, but first, let's get into some of the positives that happen. The first thing that I think that really spot, sparked us, obviously, the first play when Garoppolo was out there was the Quandre Diggs interception. That got it going, but what sucks is that we couldn't cash it in. And then Garoppolo and the Niners go downfield, and then Bobby Wagner, our, Jordan Brooks gets his first career sack of his career, which knocks him back, and then the kicker, if Robbie Gold was in there, Robbie Gold makes that kick every time, man. Yeah, that missed field goal came back and bit him. Hit huge. That was another huge, huge point. And it took till the second half. It was just frustrating that entire first quarter. And then the second quarter, we finally start getting rolling. We get get some plays down the field. I forgot who. Did it start with Metcalf sparking it off? I think it did. Yeah, Metcalf got a couple of big plays, got downfield. And then Metcalf got into the red zone. And then Russell Wilson hits Metcalf. And Metcalf barely squeezed the tip of the dick of the football across the plane. Broke the plane for the touchdown with the tip of the dick of the football, and Myers hit his PAT to tie it up at seven. And man, it was just a, it was just a good, it was a battle in the, just in the beginning. And thankfully, we were. I mean, I thought for sure when we got the three and out, defense really got after Garoppolo today in the first half. I gotta give props to freaking yeah, the defense. Yeah, really did. Yeah, and then and then Jamal Adams and the, we we held Kittle in check most of that game. George, I don't think George Kittle was really much of an X factor. And, uh, I think the other key play in the second half was the fumble on the kickoff. Oh yeah. To seven. Yeah, but was that before? Wait, because after, because when we came into the to the freaking uh, second half, we did we did we get enough? Did we go? Did we go three and out after we stop? After we after we got the big stop on the Niners, forcing them to punt? Did we go three and out after that? Or was that the drive where we got the Russell Wilson touchdown? I think that was the drive where we got the Russell Wilson touchdown. Yeah, Russell Wilson turned on the wheels and just barely stretched it out and broke the plane and got a touchdown, made it 14 to 7 and then after that, that was the kickoff was where the guy fumbled it. That was that was a huge huge muff and Radigan, the guy from Army, the West Point boy comes up with the recovery. The guy muffed it first, got back up, got swiped again and fumbled the ball and then Radigan recovered the fumble. The freaking guy from West Point. That was a Huge play, and I remember getting that guy fired up before the Tennessee before the Tennessee game that we lost. And Tennessee freaking lost to the Jets today, man. Just, I know that was probably one of the bigger upsets of the day. Yeah, definitely for sure, man. Still makes me pissed about the way we blew that game, but yeah, and we'd be in a lot, but we'd be in a way better spot if we hadn't let that game slip away. Yeah, and then but back to our game of hand. Radigan gets the freaking uh, recovery, and then Russell Wilson looks like he's gonna be sacked by. By one of was it by either Kinlaw or freaking Nick Bosa? He does a pirouette and just throws a rainbow up to Freddie Swain for that touchdown to cash in the the special teams blunder by the 49ers. That was a huge play too, and that was a great that was a great pass to Freddie Swain, and for him to come down with that ball both feet in. That was an incredible play to get the touchdown to make it 21 to seven at that point in the game. It was a huge momentum. Uh, my momentum was 
swinging our way after that. Yeah, and then after that, we gave up the big Debo Samuel Debo touchdown, Samuel to, touchdown. Trey, to Trey Lance. Wisnaski missed the extra point. Yeah, another thing that came back to bite him. But then after that, we go downfield, and this is where the penalties came into play. We were third and six, and we... Third and ten, it was third and ten. Thir- yeah, no, wait, it was, it was third and... Well, we were third and... Oh, yeah, the offsides penalty, I forgot about that. Offside penalty, we get a first down, we get held to another third down, and we go for a deep ball. Lockett gets tugged on the shoulder by Dre Kirkpatrick, the one that costed Arizona last year on Thursday night. Yeah. And now Dre Kirkpatrick got called for a whole... For a, whole, for a pass interference on Lockett, set us up in good field position, and then Buddha, yeah, Alex, Alex Collins. Collins with the touchdown that ended up sealing it. Yeah, they're just showing they're just showing the Wilson touchdown. Kirkpatrick was costly because they would have had us stopped uh, only down eight. The top five we prime plays on that pass interference penalty. I got reds on it right now. They just showed it, and they just had that play to Swain at number five on the top five prime plays on a uh, red zone. Oh. Yeah, but other than that, then after the Swain touchdown, the Swain after after that, I mean, then the boot, the Alex Collins touchdown, and then he did his Irish footstep, and then we just we just got after after him for a while. We just got after Lance, and then we had a key fourth down stop. I really wanted to ice the game after we got the fourth down stop, and just just to kill the clock and get another score, at least another field goal to make it a double digit lead. But man, it's just like, why do we let off so much like that late in the game? It's like just keep our foot on. But we were, yeah, that's right. Twenty one, no, no turnovers. And twenty one. That helps. Yep, and twenty one unanswered points in the second and half. Still, still four hundred fifty seven total yards allowed. Yeah, but I, when I look back on this one, I would say what held the 49ers back was they left ten points off the board with the Diggs interception and then the missed field goal. Granted, if they had Robbie Gold, four I was surprised. Four points for sure. Four points for sure with the miss, extra point, and the missed field goal. Yeah, like I said, I was surprised that freaking uh, I was surprised that Gold wasn't playing, man. I was surprised, and then and then we did a pretty hurt or something. I don't know. Yeah, he did, and then we kept defense kept Kittle in check most of the game. Jamal Adams and Quandre Diggs were keeping Kittle in check, but still we were giving up big plays to Debo Samuel, Muhammad Sanu, and uh, not really a whole lot of Brandon Ayuk this game. So no. Yeah, I mean there are a lot we could be happy for, but remember it's just one game, and we got a tough battle against the LA Rams, which. We very, they're going to be coming in pissed after dropping that game to Arizona. Just oh, saying. Yeah. yeah, but still. Just an egg today against the Cardinals. But yeah. Oh, uh, one more thing. I want to first give a shout out to uh, CG Ruthless Sports and 49ers Ultimate Report John Jay from, you know, a couple days back when we did the preview with Norb. Hell of a game. You guys were getting after us in the beginning. And then we just, I know what you guys were concerned about with some of your injuries going into that game too, which it was definitely shown with some of the plays to like, with not having Jason Verrett and then a lot of the running backs being out for you guys. But, well, he still made it interesting. And I understand Trey Lance is a rookie too. But, you know, Lance, I think he might, he probably will be a problem for us in the future, depending on when he really starts to get it going. He, but he definitely showed some flashes. Granted, I hate the fact that we were giving up a lot of those plays, especially with him on his feet. Some plays we should have had him sacked. But, I mean, I'm glad we got the win. But it's gonna it's gonna take more than just one win to get hope back in the season too. It's gonna take more than one win, especially with this tough battle coming up against LA on Thursday Night Football. They, but. they better uh, use this win uh, as momentum. Yeah, but I'm not taking LA lightly because we know they're gonna be throwing a lot of their passes to Woods and Cups on our secondary too. But thank God we finally benched that bum Trey Flowers and cut his ass next, please. Yeah, yeah, but at least we got an interception by from Quandre Diggs. We're gonna need to get more interceptions though. But whew. other yeah. than that, I'm just gonna get back to watching a bunch of red watching Red Zone. Glad we were able to just get that win. But it's gonna take a lot more than that, guys. It's just gonna take a lot more than that. Frustrating first half. Granted, we got the Metcalf touchdown, but let's see what happens from here on out. But I'm just glad that we freaking got it. I'm just glad we got it. And we still got some work to do. Just glad we managed to get out of the sun as it was really heating up. I just hope some of those guys were all right. It was just cramps in that too with the with hot. Maybe we should use pickle juice next time we play in weather like that. Yeah. Like the Eagles did when they played Dallas in a smoldering hot day once in Texas Stadium. <sighs> all right. Other than that, 
Sam Dog, the infamous 253, Dallas Stewart signing off. Seahawks get the win 28 to 21, and we're on to LA at home Thursday night football at Lumen Field. I will be there, so. And Norb Cam hopefully will be joining me for player interactions where he's taking the camera duty so I can have a break from doing it for doing it for once on my channel. So anyway, catch y'all later. If you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. And as always, go Seahawks. Me and Dallas are out.